This is the new Golagor, a new and improved Apex Predator from Ancient Monster Mods. Alright, hello everybody, this is Remodeled Golagor. Let's go through these subspecies right quick. This is our default, which has plus 10% Venom resistance. Then we have the plus 5% armor. You can tell that the head, the chest is a lot thicker, the legs are a lot thicker. The armor on the jaw right here is a lot longer and thicker as well, as well as the armor on the tail and the back over here. The spikes are bigger too. Then we have Leptos, which has 10% reflect damage, which is in regards to bleed. If you attack them, you're gonna take a little bit of bleed damage, basically. It's a lot skinnier. The spikes are still just as long though as our armored version. And then we're back to the 10% venom resistance. Well, first off, I wanna talk about how good the model looks. It doesn't have the really long iconic shoulder spikes that it used to have, but I can kind of deal with that for now. I love the new tail that you can see it just wagging in the back here. The face is pretty good too. It looks pretty similar to me, except it has like the fur under the chin. And then you got the little armor by the teeth there. And then obviously it's also a lot smaller than the other one. Not a whole lot, but like noticeably smaller. So let's go through the sounds right quick. First up we have broadcast. how it picks up the paw there the end was a little jittery i don't know what that was all about too cool i like that it's super cute kind of reminds me a little bit of a dog if that makes any sense i don't know threaten that back is arched the tail is up and waving the mouth is open four call oh i love how he tucks the tail over to his side that's awesome talk just a little rumble there, okay? Shake. Just the shoulders, it's a little shimmy there. Okay, I got you. Uh, stretch. Oh, the claws, the tails, the back legs. It was really good. It could have lasted a little bit longer though. And look around. Ooh, I like that. That's very, what is it? prairie dog like a prairie dog there's so much inspiration in this creature i like it a lot and let's check out the female skin right quick okay he really just has like lighter highlights you can see here all around the body just the spots like the secondary pattern on the skin it's pretty good all right and here's our baby model i can't believe it he looks just like a rat like a rat but kind of mixed with a monkey type thing the tail is super long and skinny and he just doesn't look terrifying at all but that's okay let's go through the sounds right quick first up we have broadcast Oh, poor baby. Too cool? Mm-hmm, I like that one. Threaten? That actually still sounds kind of scary, even as a baby. Poor call? There you go, you got the curved tail. I wish they had a little bit extra for the babies when it comes to their four call. Talk. There's a rumble. Shake. Here we go, we got the shimmy. Stretch, big stretch, oh yes. Look at him go. And look around. Curious little guy. There you go, prairie dog pose. And let's go through the animations right quick. First up, we have walk. Oh, that was very fast. Very stompy too. <laughs> and then run. Basically the same thing. You can barely see him though. Uh, let's see if we have a jump. Whoa, we do. We jump really high. Wow. Okay. Uh, crouch. We do. Crouch walk. So very slidey for the crouch walk. Probably because of how small this guy is. Let's see if we can sit. He sits up right. Look at him go. Okay, and sleep. Well, we can't see too much because of the grass, unfortunately, but he looks like a very standard sleep here. All right, and here's our adult model. He's freaking huge still. Even though he's not as big as the old Golugor, the model is great. In this environment, he fits right in. Tail is long, fluffy, but also dangerous, pretty armored. All right, let's go through the animations right quick. Here is our walk in the front. Yeah, it's very stompy. In the side. From behind. 
I like the tail movement a lot. Is a run? Oh, it's just a faster speed walk, really. Okay. Our right, jump. Okay, we can't jump as an adult. Sit. Is nice and proper. He's a good boy. He looks like a dog here for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sleep. Oh, I love it. It tucks the paws underneath. Very much like a dog. Like I was correct with that. The tail is curved. The legs are splayed out to one side. Get up. Okay. Then we have our crouch. Our crouch walk. I wish the nails kind of dug into the floor a little bit, you know? To give the sense that we're actually sneaking up on somebody. It's not terrible though. Okay, here's our precise movement. He turns really fast in place. It's kind of slow backwards. And our left is okay. A little too slow. Our right. I don't hate it, but it's kind of too slow for me. Here's our Disturb Burrow animation. She starts with one arm and then starts using both arms to dig. All right, and here's the eating animation. Govagor is actually so slow that I cannot catch AI with it. So I had to change the diet so that he eats this anthill over here so I can show you guys the animation, uh, which kind of sucks. It definitely needs to be a little bit faster, at least so I can catch AI, you know? All right, and here's our drinking animation. Uses the tongue a little bit to scoop it in exactly like a dog, just like I've been saying this whole time. Even though he looks kind of Wolverine-ish, he's definitely just a dog in disguise. <laughs> Here's our swim animation. Oh, he does not really stay above the water with his head. That's something to work on. He uses all his limbs though. His tail isn't doing much. He's got an okay speed in the water, but not great. Speed swim is a lot faster for sure. So it's decent. All right, let's go through the skins right quick. This is the default female skin right here. And then we have Badger, Desert, Magma, Marble, Orca, Spring, Adder, Tiger, Grimclaw, Melanistic, and Albino. To be honest, I'm glad that we have these other skins because before the only skin that I saw was this one here, the Grimclaw, and I didn't like it that much, but I like these other skins. So <laughs> I'm glad that we have those options now. Well, except for that green one. I didn't like that. <laughs> Let's look at the abilities right quick. We have two slots for our head slot here. First up, we have bite. Golgor are born with the ability to bite hard for its size. I'm guessing that means it does pretty high damage. Armor crushing bite. Golgor is known for their modified teeth designed for breaking through the toughest of hides and splintering bones. This ability ignores armor, combat weight, and causes bone break. So really good against big dinosaurs, big creatures. Thrash. Golgor thrash their heads when holding prey in their mouths. Does medium damage to held players. Can use players as a weapon. Whoa, I mean, that's interesting. I wonder how that's going to play out, actually. Senses. We have Lone Hunter, 10% increased attack damage when not in a group. And Carnage increases attack by 20% within 75 meters of a corpse. So, yeah, from what I can tell, they're definitely trying to keep Golgore the powerhouse it used to be, which is really good. Front limb. We have left shoulder bash. Oh, it's still going to do that. Okay. Using its massive shoulder pad to attack. This attack can leave any foe feeling like it's been impaled. Causes bleed when hitting a foe. For best result, remain still. So we have left and then we have right for that. And then we have stomp. Golgore uses this massive paws to crush foes that somehow get under its low stature creature. So if you get under your feet, you're getting crushed. Metabolism. We have hyper carnivore. Young Golgore have a ferocious appetite and will eat any meat it can find. Opportunistic omnivore. Golgore are known to eat various things if there are no prey around. Can eat meat, fish, berries, nuts, and insect, but hunger drains 10 times faster. Eee. Scavenger can eat meat, fish, carrion, and bones, fast food, and water drain. Hide. Standard hide that does nothing. And then fortified. Gold gore when feeling threatened will hunker down to protect itself from predators. Crouching in place for five seconds will grant extreme incoming damage resistance until moving or uncrouching. So, Onodonto, basically. But, you know, as a predator. Legs. Lunge. Golgore lunches itself as its prey to grab animals with its powerful jaws. Great. This is the one that I was telling you guys about in the last video I made about mod news. Definitely 
the ability to look out for. We have Tail Slap. The Golgor's tail may not be the most unique, but it can ward off attackers that think they can bite its hard backside. And then Armored Tail damage and status effects inflicted to your tail is dramatically reduced. I might be using that depending on how hard our walking turn radius is. And then Voice. We have Intimidating Rumble. Golgor, when threatened, will make deep rumbles to intimidate their foes. Decreases attack damage for 50% for all players except you and your group. Wow, that's insane. I hope that's like short though, because that's not fair. <laughs> And then Berserk, Golagore when enraged will increase its attack damage by 50 more damage to all attacks, but armor is weakened. That's fair. Okay, now let's go through the ability animations. First we have Bite. Regular reaches all the way to the floor. Not bad. Then we have Armor Crushing Bite. Which is long. You don't have to hold it. It's just going to do it automatically. Then we have Thrash. Oh, it doesn't make much noise, of course, which is okay. I guess that makes sense. But that's after you grab somebody, then you want to use thrash. So that's definitely a combo to keep in mind. Then we have left shoulder bash. Uh, I don't like that animation too much. Right shoulder bash. It feels kind of more like I'm like kicking their leg or something rather than actually shoulder bashing like the old model used to do. So not my favorite animation. Now we have stomp. Oh, it uses both feet? That's kind of weird. I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to do a good up down, but I think that makes sense as well. But one more time, stomp. All right. Next up, we have lunge. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly like the animation that I showed previously, but that'll let you grab like mid tier, small mid tier creatures and smaller. Perfect. And then you can use that in combination with thrash. Then we have tail slap. It's a nice wide sweeping arc one more time. Pretty slow, but the movement is actually pretty fluid. I like it quite a lot. And now for our voice abilities, we have Intimidating Rumble. Ooh, I wouldn't say it's that intimidating. I mean, I like the sound in general, but I, I'm not scared. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm not though. And then lastly, we have Berserk. That's awesome. That's what you should have done for the intimidating one. That was cool. My opinions on Golagore, I love the model. I love some of the new animations and I like a lot of the sounds. It's not as mobile as it was before. It's lunge doesn't go very far. Uh, it doesn't walk or run very fast. Like the walk's okay, but the run definitely needs to be faster. But other than that, I enjoy this a lot. He's got a lot more character now, so I definitely do appreciate that. If you guys like this video, thank you for watching so much and definitely check out some of my other videos. Thank you so much for subscribing if you subscribed and I will see you in the next one.